AI video has finally arrived. For the past year, I've been constantly saying, I'm not carving AI video. It's not good enough. A three second clip does not impress me. I don't want to sew together 10 videos to make a 30 second commercial. But today, OpenAI released Sora, and it's an absolute game changer. Let's get into it. This is the Sora website. What I want you to notice is how long these video clips are. I'm going to take you through a whole bunch of them, share my thoughts, and show you what's happening. Now, this is very important. Look at this sentence right here. All videos on this page were generated directly by Sora without modification. That's them taking a little dig at Google. Because if you remember, when Google first announced Gemini, they had doctored their video and they got caught. So they're saying we didn't do any of that. So look at this. This is a stylish woman walking down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. Now the video is not perfect, right? It looks almost like a green screen video, but compared to everything else we've seen before, your first thought isn't that she's a fake person. Your first thought is it's a green screen. Think it's two videos married together. That's how good this stuff is getting. And look, this is a 59 second video and every single one of these videos you can download. They're very confident. They're willing to do zoom ins and all sorts of things that are very impressive. So I'm loving what they're doing here. Let's show the next video. Here's a couple of woolly mammoths. Think about some of the movies you've seen lately and the quality of their CGI, and now compare it to this. Now, this is a shorter clip, it's only 10 seconds, but still, that's longer than most of the three second clips out there. Here we have a set. 17 second clip of a movie trailer featuring a 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knit motorcycle helmet. Now, here's what's important about this it's not shaking. The man looks real. Do I love this video? It's okay. This looks to me like an independent movie more than a big budget production. But that's my thought, not that it's an AI video or a fake video. So we're now hitting the point where these videos can pass the Turing test. So this is very exciting. This is a real game changer. And I hope you're as excited by me. But let's jump to the next video. Here we have a drone view of the beach. The important thing is notice that the shakiness is missing that we see from most other AI generated images where it goes shake, 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 shake. And it's really obvious. This is not revealing itself to me, and I'm very excited by this. Now, let's watch this. Here's a little fluffy monster playing with a melting red candle. Amazing. Very exciting. So here we go. Here's a beach scene, or paper craft world of a coral reef. This is amazing. This is where you start to see the real magic. This is very interesting because the quality of this video is better, in my opinion, than the images made by Dolly, right? Dolly's makes pretty good stuff, but this is a paper fish and a paper seahorse. Come on. Amazing. So this is very exciting. And here we can see a bird. This is a Victoria crowned pigeon. This is a 40 second clip. So even though some of these clips are shorter, They've crossed the standard three seconds everyone else is doing. To me, this is really solid. I don't know if there's actually a bird that looks like this. So I don't know if this is an imaginary bird or a real one, but this video to me seems pretty real. The thing that is good is it doesn't feel like they've taken 60 images and sewn them together, which is what a lot of other videos feel. A lot of other videos have that scanner darkly feel to me, like that movie where the characters were animated really shaky. Here's two pirate ships battling each other in a cup of coffee. So I looked at this video and that's what I thought it was before I read the description. So that's how successful it is. Now, there are some things that are a little bit strange about this, especially with the flags. If you look at the flag position, they almost remind me of those plastic Lego flags. And there's no one on the pirate ships. There's no people on them. So we're not at perfection. This is the first time I've been excited by text to video. I can't wait to get my hands on this. Here, we can see a real person reading a book. This is a young man in his 20s sitting on a piece of cloud in the sky reading a book. Now, I didn't know he was sitting on a cloud because the low angle. So reading the prompt, that's the one thing that's a miss. Now I can see it a little better, but my first guess was that he was sitting on like a bear or something. So... 
it's a win for me. Now, there's some other things that they want to make clear. Talk about the safety down here. So they're really working very hard with red teamers, which are people that are working on basically bad stuff to make sure to test, like to do penetration tests and negative tests to make sure the bad things can't be done at this tool. So it's in that phase right now. But let's look at some more examples because these are all really great to look at. Here's the next set of examples. This is a historical village in California from the gold rush. This is even done the way like a 1950s or 1960s cowboy western would be done. That's what this coloration looks like. It reminds me of when movies were in Technicolor. So this should bring back a positive memory if you guys like older cowboy movies like I do. Now, pretty good. It's not quite. The movement has a little bit of jerkiness in the character. But it feels alive. It feel, he feels like a living creature. So we're seeing a lot of different styles. A close-up of an eye. This is one of the hardest things to do. And I wouldn't know this was AI generated if I wasn't watching this on the AI generated video page. So this is where we start to see something that's absolutely seems realistic. Cartoon bunny. This gets me excited. The thought of this and being able to make our own cartoons, what a level of freedom. I think about what if I could make cartoons like this for my kids and create full length features and have consistent character. This is where AI gets really exciting. Here we have a homemade video of people in Lagos, Nigeria in the year 2056. I'm looking for the I'm looking for robots or lasers. So that's I don't see the future element, but I'm waiting for it. Or is it a spaceship or something? With a mobile phone camera. So the one thing I don't know is the mobile phone seems to be on a drone. It doesn't seem futuristic to me, but it seems like a great photo. Now this is very interesting. So this is a bamboo forest with tiny red pandas running around. So if we measure this against CGI in movies, this is like up there. And I'm really excited by this. And if you guys are excited by this, please hit the comments and below. If you want to be kept up to date with the most cutting edge news, please make sure to hit that bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. Because I'm up in the middle of the night recording this because this news just came out. This is a really hard thing to do. If you think about how many moving parts are here, you have a bunch of TVs showing different things at the same time. This doesn't look quite real it has that effect that i would expect for this from a science fiction movie where there's a bunch of tvs at the same time so it's getting the right result right it feels like what's supposed to be happening is happening here's a little monster what's this monster gonna do is he gonna eat one of those little girls i hope not okay he didn't do anything horrible that's good here's some birds you definitely want to go and check this page out for yourself. Normally, when people show their examples, I'm not impressed. I never like talking about it. It made me crazy. So here's a woman being woken up by her cat. Let's see. Pretty good. This is interesting because at first you think it's a bunch of fish, but if you look closely, it's a bunch of paper airplanes in a jungle. It does, to me, this coloration still looks like the color of underwater. So it's a really cool effect. This is, I could just watch this one for days. I really like this one. I want to make this my screensaver. The octopus one. If you follow me on other social channels, especially LinkedIn, I shared this right away because this is unbelievable. Really great. Have a nice sky view. I think we've already looked at that one. Here's someone on a train. Here's a chase scene. So we have a lot of great videos. They've just posted some really great examples. And the fact that they give you the exact prompt below them is very helpful. I like this one as well. My kids and I saw one of these dragons just a couple of days ago. So at Chinese New Year. So I know exactly what these look like in person. I've seen these before in person. And I would say this is pretty good. The head is solid. There's some issues with the body where it's not perfect. It doesn't feel like enough people are holding it up. It takes more people to hold the, one of these up. You see not enough people have sticks holding them. But other than that, it's amazing. So that's the only thing I'm looking at going, shouldn't there be more people? That's what I'm used to is it's filled with 50 people. But other than that, I love this one too. So this is really exciting. And let's see, we have a picture from an art gallery. 
looks amazing. Snow scene, flower growing. It feels like a commercial for flower growing. Love it. This looks as good as Chappie to me. Very impressive. Wolf. New York underwater like Atlantis. They're pretty good. So not every one of these is a 10 out of 10. Like this to me just looks okay. This looks like around the quality of Sharknado, which is a very successful movie, right? So it's like a little bit silly because it doesn't make sense because at the bottom, they're half in water, right? The turtles are in water, but not underwater. And then the other fish are underwater. So there are some stuff in here that are not, it's not consistent scientifically, but that looks very cool, right? You would never think, oh, someone wrote one sentence and this happened. Now, my family had a golden retriever for many years. These are very adorable. Really good use of slow-mo. Slow-mo is where you'd expect to see like them just reveal if something's wrong, right? Like it would just give itself away. And there's more videos on here. I don't want to show you everything because I want you to go and have that experience yourself when you go and look at for yourself at some of these things. But this is very exciting. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this critical update, this piece of AI news. I want to share with you as soon as this came out. This is only announced in the last couple of hours. So excited to have you here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please leave a comment below. Let me know which of these videos is your favorite. Throw me a like so that more people can see this cool piece of news and get this information out there. I love being cutting edge. I love that you're here. Really appreciate you being a subscriber, follower, and hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that video, I think you're going to like this one or maybe even this one. Check them out.